Isn't that stunning? It's $800 for that. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and this is part two of one of the largest antique malls in North America. And we are here with a few other resellers, so we might bump into them, but we are gonna walk around here. It's a very large antique mall, and we're gonna see what else we could find. If you have not watched the first video, go check that out too. But let's go shop. I actually just bought that frog. That's interesting. I don't know if it's that exact same frog, but I bought a frog. They have, or it's a turtle, but it's a flower frog. They have 45 on that one. It's very nice. Hmm. It's a very large mall. You really are. And we're about halfway through it. All right, we're gonna check out this next wing over here. Oh, they have an, enti an entire seating area over here, which is fun. There's also a restaurant. There's a restaurant right through there, a cafe. So that's pretty cool. But there are a plethora of booths here. Oh yes, well we all... There is so much. We all split up at the start of it and we took different sections so that we wouldn't be crossing into each other. So th this has been walked through by, I believe, Misty. Maybe Michael. Maybe Michael, maybe Fatbird Finds. I'm not sure, actually, who is all where. But we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we can do something. There's lots of nice things here. So we still have our wagon. So if you watch the first video, that's where we found all these things. And there's a few things that are up at the register already because they were in cases and they take those up for us. So they don't get, oh, this, I have this bear. Actually, I think I sold it already. 20, this is a nice bear. Oh, here's one of these. I've sold these before too. It's um, Onyx. In, okay, it's not an Egyptian figurine. <laughs> it's Aztec or Mayan, but close, I guess. <laughs> what about this one? What? For, for 18, that is a really pretty cool pink elephant, don't you think? Oh, yeah, it is interesting. It'd be what nice I, if it was 12. It'd be nice if the trunk was up, too. Oh, I forgot, you don't like that. Oh, look at this turtle, or frog, or whatever it is. It's a turtle. It's only $8. Oh, that is really cute. So it's a, um, it's a, a Mexico, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Tanala style Mexico piece. <laughs> You're like, it's a turtle. Yeah, I think we've discerned that much. Eight dollars. Um, I am going to get that. I like if we can find anyone. That's been a problem. There's lots of people walking around, but they're never where you just need remember them. it. And then when they walk by, there's a blue cat back there too. Interestingly, at twelve. But I like the turtle. It's called thirty two oh seven. Hello, thirty two oh seven. My name is Jeffrey. I actually really like this art glass right here. It is $32, but it looks like it's just red, but it is actually not. There is wonderful glittery striations inside of it. It is so lovely. I like the shape of that tremendously. Oh. I like that um, light little owl with the moon. Oh how yeah, much that is. nice lithograph. So they are getting me assistance for the for the case over there, but this is, a, they're calling it a folk art flamingo, which I have not seen before, from 1920s. Now I think that's pretty specific. I'm not sure how they figured that. Maybe there's like a, I can't get into it. Maybe there's a, you know, a thing on the underside of it that says that, but I don't know, $30, I, it's one of those things. I don't think I will, but is awesome made of wood there's a Jeanette for seven dollars I suspect something must be wrong with it and it's in a case so I don't I'm not going to buy it okay. because thirty dollars to me is I mean you don't love it you just like it it's it's neat but I'm not sure if I would I like paid I pay like at the most 14 for it I think okay. Yes. This is kind of a fun little piece. They say like they it. say it's Blinko Amberina, and it looks like Blinko to me, but I'm not an expert. But I might. Nice. Go for it. Isn't this cool? Yeah. Get out here. It has a sticker too. Blinko pumpkin. Huh. I have never seen such a thing, and I don't know how much such a thing goes for. I like it. But it's really cool. What is on here? 
That's inside. Uh huh. Is that is that normal? You think, or is that like kind of like a manufacturer problem? Maybe I don't you know. know if I like it. Right. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, it is in the front too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think. I don't know because that it does take away from it. You know, like when you kind see of, if you're like it's like at you want to get it off like it's dirty. Yeah. If it was cheaper, I think I would. Nice. Wow, this is really cute. I like what they did with it with the chairs and the TV. Huh. So neat. Well, I don't know where Misty is. I thought we would run into her by now. Oh, look at all the look at all the phones on the wall. That's neat. They've got the blue one and yellow and black. 95. It's kind of harder to find some of these wall ones. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, that is cool. 150 for the box fan. I don't think I've seen those seen that before with the box <laughs> this lithograph was hiding behind this chair and they have $48 on it but the coloring is really nice I don't think I've seen that one before in fact I'm not sure who did that one again I mean it it looks like an Atkinson Fox stylistically so I wouldn't know but the frame is actually really nice too so that's, that's something to think about. That's really pretty. Hmm. Thing is, I have not enough wall space and I really don't think I need it, but that's really pretty. The coloring on that one is very good. Look what I found. I am going to buy this. <gasps> Lefton? Oh my gosh. I did not, ha I didn't have a Lefton yet. Is it really in great shape and it's only $6? You're kidding me. You're kidding. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh. Really? I, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put that right there. Can I believe that $6? Maybe Misty missed it or that she just decided to leave it for me to find. But she doesn't even know if I would have found it. This place is so big. Oh, there's another lithograph over here. This one is very faded. Very, very badly colored. 45, yeah. Barb? Oh, I finally caught up. You ran away. <laughs> I found a flamingo. Oh. And you're gonna fall out. How okay. much do you think this is? Um, 20. It's six dollars. And wow. it's left in. Awesome. I know. I like that one. Isn't that ridiculous? That's a really good coloring. I think so too. It is amazing. This is just more of what it's like to be here. Just so many nice things. Like this really pretty purple paperweight here with the controlled bubbles for 28. The stand's not included, but that is really, really striking. So there's so many things that are just like, I could almost buy them. I mean, I could, but not super profitable. So I'm trying to be selective. Blue and pink egg, $10 seat. Now that one I would buy because the coloring on that is really nice. For 10, I like that. It's that blue and pink purpley color. Yeah, I think I'll get that one. But there's just, oh, look at that cat for 48. It says Kenyan cat statue carving. What did I you do? I found paint by number. So there's this one here and it's like uh -huh. a mountain stream one. Now this is not in a frame that would work, obviously. Look, it doesn't even fit. This is not a good frame. <laughs> and that one is 20. I mean, for 20, I could maybe look for a frame. Mm -hmm. But then now this one is, I mean, I'm not in love with this frame, but I do think it kind of works with the, the colors in there. Yeah. Um, and this one is um, 50, but I, it's a bigger one mm -hmm. and I don't know. I don't know if I'm attached to those colors, but it, it's your art, so. Yeah. Hmm. I say you do you. It's an older one, and it says, unless they didn't look it up correctly, but they have it marked um, 1959, and they've got the title, so I like the older ones and the bigger ones. Is that behind glass? It is. Oh, wow, that's weird. They don't need to be behind glass, and it's heavy. I'd probably take it out. Yeah. Where we, sp okay. Gosh, I don't know. I really like that one, though. But then I gotta find a frame. 
Oh, he's we finally so found sweet. someone. We've been walking around aimlessly. <laughs> hey! Well, <laughs> fat bird find. Yay! And that's me. That's my shirt. Yes. <laughs> and Diana yeah, Collis came. Shirt. Um, so you decided you didn't like this one. I love it, but oh. it's a little bit short for my collection. But it's so pretty. Did you see the whole one? Okay. Oh, you, that was on like the top. Have you, you found like, anything yet? Yeah, we found a lot. We've of stuff. got a little bit. Really? You know? Like the, you have a what? You, you get a little tag. Oh yeah, yeah. I have a few things in there. Oh, okay, yeah. That's this what we have. That's, that's where all of our stuff. Oh, a toothpick holder. <laughs> but it's got cadmium in it. So I it do. Blows. If oh you my want gosh. to say hi to everyone else, I think everyone else ended up at the snack bar right after we got up. Oh no. <laughs> oh, well, we're, yeah. we've got like one more wing to go. I think like right over in like through the middle and then over there. Awesome. That made yeah, no we've sense. Done I'm sure, but one and that side. Oh, you're just starting any. this one. Yeah, we have oh, okay. Over here yet. We're we've got like one wing of this side to go, awesome. and then we'll <laughs> we'll be done. Did you guys see? Nice. Do you, do you like the poodle? I'm yeah, trying to he's decide. so cute. He's adorable. He has a he funny is. head. Oh, that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to decide because what poodles what's are funny? not my very favorite. He's got a bumpy like head. A, like a tall head. Oh, but that's his little. Pom -pom. I guess, but oh. there's no pom pom. On it. <laughs> what? An antique candlestick? He just has like yeah, you like it? it. <laughs> uh, I do. Isn't that nice? Hey, I saw this. I, I thought that was, that was really cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. And I found a flamingo. That's do you awesome. see that flamingo? Oh, look oh, at he's him. Pretty. Six dollars. <gasps> Come on. It's, it's Lefton too. And that's, my my that's my first Lefton. I didn't even. <laughs> No. No, now that, don't get that excited. Oh, That's so just cute. a Holland mold, but it's only $12. <laughs> right. I thought it'd be cool for Isn't that cool though? Yes. It's not like right. I love it. I, love my very, I think it's my you first piece of left in Flamingo. Did you really? Mm-hmm. There you go. No, wow. it's, it's not that exciting. Yes, I really like this place. Like yeah. Yes. It's really cool. And there, it like some of my better things obviously yes. are up at the yeah. register because yeah. they don't trust us. So you so. got the other one. <laughs> I, no, they shouldn't. I didn't <laughs> Barb, this booth, I am loving it. And I remember this one from last year. Oh, wow. Or from whenever that was we came. This is Art Deco Galore in Egyptian. Oh my gosh. 975. So this is Egyptian Revival, by the way. <laughs> it's not from, you know, 5,000 years ago. But, oh, I love it. Oh, I just sold this vase, Barb. They have oh, 150 yeah. on it. Yep, same one. Same one. I am going to be right back. I'm trying to get a message to send. Yeah, it's Go really outside. awful in here with the way that it's built. Don't leave our little card. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just love what they've done. Tiffin satin with the, oh, with the, just everything. I just, mm. and there's some bookends. Are these stretching cats? 850. Mm. A mirror. I'm so proud of myself saying mirror instead of mirror. Mirror. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Here's some more Lotes. Lots of Lotes glass, actually. Bohemian Czechoslovakia glass with the stand. Now that is something. I love that. Very Art Nouveau with the the plants around it. So here's one of the Noels. I like finding those, but that one looks like melting slime to me. So. Yeah, that one is Holt Howard, but <laughs> yeah. I don't... They have 120 on I it. I don't think it's worth that much, but I could be wrong, but I don't think... Look at all the really pretty Catalan and, you know, big light. Nice. Bangles and there's a parrot. It's a Lucite parrot pen for 145. All right, well, we still have like one wing to go. Oh, there's Laura over there. And then I think we would have seen it all technically. There's who did you see? No, Laura, oh. that bird finds Laura. Look at this clock, that's fun. 65, that's a nice thing. <gasps> Wait, this plastic. Oh my God. Okay, I, they, so these are usually ceramic. What is it then? It's the measuring cup set. Oh, but they're just massive. I Somebody like that. 45 though? Yeah. Okay. I've I find the ceramic ones for less than that and there are the actual old ones from you know. Do you think they made that one like shortly after the ceramic? I don't know when they would have done the plastic version, but I would think that it's a copy. Barb, it's a flamingo again. Oh, oh my, my gosh, it's fifty-eight dollars. Oh no, thirty-eight. But that, that doesn't help me much, does it? It's a pretty one. It is pretty. I don't know anything about it. It says five inch pink oh, flamingo. Oh, a pixie thing, 125. Oh my gosh. It has no writing on the bottom either. I think that might be too much then. I would say so. 
for myself or, you know, as a collector. I'm not willing to go there. It's beautiful. I like what they did with it, though. Oh, here's some Higgins glass. People collect that. Nice little ashtrays. In a previous video, I actually showed this and somebody was selling it for $150. Here it is for $45. This is the I Dream of Genie bottle by Jim Beam and they did paint that for the set. So that's what they use though for the form. This is a pretty handkerchief pedestal and this kind of purple color back there. Good. Now I might have found Barb something. Oh. You see? Okay, let's see. So it's I know the Western is more... Some, some, some is. of it. It's I don't more know about that. Um, I don't know how to say that word, by the way. I say Caribe. I don't know if that's right. Some of the Western can be good. I haven't seen that one. I don't know. Hmm. I don't think I'm and of course, it. it's locked in a case, so right. we'll be here for an hour waiting for someone. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look at that Egyptian revival piece for 600 Now that is cool. Oh, and there is the humidor back there the Egyptian style humidor for $175. And this is a nice tray. We did a video on this a while ago and it was about lamps and all sorts of things. And that's $125, but this you could put at the front of your, you, okay. <laughs> It's hard for me to concentrate. Barb <laughs> came rushing in to show me. What was it? No, I'm not showing you anything. I, it's not that funny. But a guy over there, I was just went past because I thought you were coming and I was in his way. And then he said, I think he's still talking to you over there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, so this you put in the front entry of your house for calling cards. It could work as multiple things, of course, but uh, it's very, very cool. Um, did you see this uh, Egyptian revival piece? Oh wow! Uh, you should. That could be um... my my Christmas present from you. <laughs> Merry Christmas for you for the next twenty years. <laughs> That's a cool mirror. That's so cool. Did we just see a mirror similar to this in the wood? I can't remember. No. So, like, all kidding aside, I don't think I would actually want that. I I do like it. I like I like those things, but functionally, what really would I do with it? Unless you like it enough that you want like a whole group. It's Egyptian revival. Eighty-five is really not bad. Hmm. But I don't know what I would do with that besides put a plant in it. Eighty-five. That's cool. Look at her little flapper gal back there. Isn't that stunning? It's $800 for that yeah. Tiffany Favril Lavender Pastel Plate. Oh, gosh. It's quite nice. And we ran into Misty finally. We, we found everybody else and finally Misty. Um, sorry, My horse. And your horse. On your high horse. Um, so it's, so it's oh, fun. that's but nice. Wow, this is pretty interesting. The art on the walls. And there's lots of mid-century furniture too, all the tables. I actually really like that couch that you're not allowed to sit on. It is about $2,000. So that's fun. The fabric's cool. I like that fabric. See? Really nice. Yeah, the artwork's very like jazzy. Real jazzy. All right, we'll go this way. Michael really wants this. I do. I think I am gonna get it after much deliberation. It's beautiful. Only thirty-five dollars. Did you know if it's like screwed up or anything? It doesn't look it. I would hope they would put as is. We would hope. <laughs> it's not giving me a purple, so I am thinking it is Ellie Smith versus LG Wright. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Clear is fun. Mm -hmm. Clear is fun. It's huge. It, that's what's for the Moon and Star pedestal compo. Getting me <sighs> that size. I didn't know it came that big. <laughs> If only. If only, if only. But there's nobody to help. $285, that alligator. And it's a little baby alligator. <laughs> oh, I like those cups. Pretty, pretty cups. I love the glaze so much on this. It's giving me like whole, it's giving me whole vibes, H-U-L-L. -L. They did a really pretty glaze just like this. Maybe it's a giant hole water pitcher <laughs> for giants. I'm trying to look at the bottom of it. 
Oh no, it says um, R R P Co. Roseville, Ohio. Mm, I thought I knew what that was at one point. R R P. So like Roseville, something something. Let's let's just let's just move this. Oh gosh, it's it's heavy. Ninety dollars. We'll just shove it right over here by this tiny chair. <laughs> a tiny chair and a and a big vase. Here. No, I've got it. After all of that. Okay. Yeah, I think he's gonna do it. All right, I mean, it, it, there's like a little chip on it, but I think he'll do it. People will have the smaller compote. They don't have the bigger one in the one. Yeah. It's the, so cool. Candy bowl fillers. It's gonna be your round. Yeah. It's year-round situation. I think so. All year. Is that an owl? Yeah. Ah, for 18? Really now? Did you see the flamingo that was in a wing that you are in? And yep. With a head up. Was it $6? Oh, no. It was $6. Did you get it? I did. It was Lefton. A Lefton ceramic flamingo. Really? Look at that little crooked eye thing. We left it for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next to each other. That's so cute. What about that? You did what now? I saw two flamingos together. I, I, oh. Oh, I'm surprised. Back in the first. Oh, okay. So in the last video, I was deliberating on this piece, and it is $35, but I decided to get it. So it's this cloisonne, and it is $35. So I decided to get it. They have late 1800s on here, and I'm going to go with that, but it has really fun butterflies on it and I just really like all of the tiny intricate enameling on here so I think it's really really cool so yeah it's an entire town of pigs <laughs> oh my gosh so that one is I don't know what this <gasps> what? did you see I, I pointed those out earlier <laughs> they're monster they're yeah sorry yeah but like all the pigs are they're going to the bathroom one's in the in the purse one's driving to work over there that's another one driving to the farm. <laughs> that one back there is oh, Ed. eating his fish that he just caught. Oh, he's really enjoying that. But yeah, nice. that's way too much for those moss. Yeah, 175. I really like that lamp. There's like a little scene there with a palm tree and a house. Pretty slag glass. It's nice. Oh. Roseville Juvenile Dish Set for 65. A little bunnies on it. It's cool. Let's have three people record something. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> the dueling cameras. Hello. Hi, hello. <laughs> hi. Those are oh, fun. Wait, 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 four. Yeah. Oh, Jumping a drunk Diana. She's yeah. over there, too. Hello, Diana. Oh, my gosh. This is great. This Welcome is to the cult of the <laughs> Oh yeah, look at all the restaurant wear. I do like that one. I might have to get that one. It says Aloha Hula Pie. I think I need that one. I didn't see oh, that earlier. Oh, yeah, because it's it's like really hidden there. I only saw $8? I, do like I do like these two, but... With the like, gingham kind of on it? Mm -hmm. That is nice. Yeah. Eight bucks, come on. Yeah, why not? That's great. Now, what's not great is, is there a person anyway? Oh, there hardly <laughs> ever is. I know. Well, Darn. We'll find them eventually. Hey, look. You can get a sign that says Long Live Vintage. <laughs> or Louis Vuitton. Early 40s Louis Vuitton. advertising 260. Or antiques. How cool is oh, that? There's a guy. Guy. <laughs> guy. <laughs> I didn't listen. Oh. <laughs> Jump up and down. Maybe that'll help. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you waving at dummy? You know what? I really like this. It is made by Urphelia from the 1920s, maybe 30s, and they have $19 on it, and I like it, as long as there's nothing wrong with it. I really like that though, blue pottery. We'll see, we're gonna see about that. I wanna get in there, come on now. Isn't this neat? I was messing with it. It's a dancing Christmas village. It's like an accordion, isn't that cute? With one hand, it's a bit difficult, but you know, you you can make it long or you can make it short. You decide. Snowman, $18. Now that's different. I've never seen that. It's a Viking epic. 
That's the color, by the way. Blue Dog. So it's called Epic Blue. $150. That is outstanding. So cool. Ooh, look, a little covered amber piece here. That's Valerie Stahl. Valerie Stahl is an older antique glass. And sometimes Westmoreland would have reproduced the molds. And they did them in different colors. But this is a nice amber one with him, with a dog. Oh, look at that little, that's an imperial, I don't know, like a horse or something. I'm not good with animals. <laughs> is that a koi fish? Isn't that cool? It's a Murano fish, it says, for 65 with the pink. And the toucan back there, or pelican rather. <laughs> that's what the text says, pelican. 85. <gasps> Ooh. This is Tiffin flower planter. That is a deer. It's so covered with flowers. They should take all the flowers off of there because it's so hidden. That is really cool. Oh wow, $150 if you're wondering. I just spotted this adorable little thing here. $6 for this little teapot. Isn't that adorable? Ah! Isn't that lovely? I just love the shape of it. Oh, it's just adorable. Mm, okay, we'll put that in the cart right there. Lovely. Do you hear the Dallas theme song? Um, I don't know that show. I don't. I don't know if I've watched. Yes, it, it is a that theme from Dallas. <laughs> oh, there's some Majolica. Dallas theme song. There's some Majolica plates. Fifty dollars from Western Germany. I bet Misty would like that. That is H E Lures, Lures, H E Lures. Um, very, very similar to Vistel or Eureka, but um, they have eighteen dollars on it. It is embossed and single sided. Some of the newer ones, they you know they do reproduce these and they are double sided. So we'll see if Misty wants that one. But I did notice these flamingo lights. They have ten dollars on them. There's not that many though. Like that's not that many for ten dollars for me. I would buy them just for myself to put them, you know, somewhere and look at them. Oh, a scarecrow. That's cute. Five dollars. Well, I'll get that. I will. That's a cute little thing. You are a cute little thing. That's like such a opposite opposite to what I've been buying today. Like expensive glass and stuff, and then. Some of that. But it's good. We like we like variety. Oh yeah. Yes, we do too. I just love these tins. Now I'm not gonna buy them because it I just can't because it's just but thirty dollars and I just love that metallic with a butterfly. It's a biscuit tin from 1920s. And then this one has ships on it for $145. And then this one, oh, that's a neat one with like a hunting zine on it. And an interesting shape as well. Well, let's just, I want to get you the price, even though I think it's going to be like $130. Uh, 95 What a deal. So, this one's probably my favorite because it's just butterfly. I did see that. It was $20. Yeah, I don't, I've. I don't know if I like the color. I, if it was a sugar bowl, I don't like it that it's a honey. I don't like it. I don't like that it's for honey. I, I mean, that's person. but they're. I know. <laughs> if it was a sugar bowl, I would like it more. There's a bozo book. Yeah. Bozo. Mean, Bozo's an acceptable flower. I was about to say. I thought that was. Yeah, the... he's acceptable. Oh, God. Wow. I liked bozo. So this was something sort of we learned today, Misty. Um, she pointed these out. So these are actually Victorian, they're fairy antique, lights. fairy lights that you'd hang from a tree outside. And so they're pretty old and um, they've got them all different colors. Maybe I want this green one here. There's multiple green ones and this one's $15, which is actually a really good price. How much that? Um, the blue one? Well, I like this like purple teal colored oh, yeah. one. That one's 45 though. Actually, yeah, and the other teal one's also 45. I know, I know that the teal is more of a, in general, a more desirable color. Well, I probably will get this 
green, green another one. green one. There's, like, there, I, w I want this green one. You, one. you can have. There's like three other. This one, it, it has a, it has damage on it. But or I maybe like you could scallop. just have all the green ones. No, it's okay. Get one. They'd be good for they Christmas sell, They too. sell for about forty-five dollars, but yeah. depending on the color, between thirty and forty-five dollars, depending on the color. But yeah. I just—it's been a bucket list thing of mine. Mm -hmm. And are you putting your other ones back? You got earlier though. I might. I might. How much are you going to get? Twenty-four. You got a I white get one. For Fifteen. Right. You got a white one and a clear one last year. A blue one. There's like this milk glass blue one. Oh. I think. Or it's cobalt blue. I don't remember. Yeah, something like that. But I was cool. excited because it's a bucket list thing. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. This was part two, by the way. So if you have not watched the first video of this antique mall, which was outstandingly large, go check that out because it was really good. But for now, I'm gonna wrap it up. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.